kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me wow. The Mysterious Cake Chomper. One day, Daddy baked a wonderful cake. My darling, what a lovely cake you made. Can't wait to try it. We'll have it after dinner for dessert, of course. But for now, let's let it soak up the cream. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Now I just need to find a glass cover so your cake will stay nice and fresh. Cookie decided to have a closer look at the cake. And then he decided to try it. And then... I think this cover will do nicely. Oh, where did Daddy's cake go? That's a good question. Wasn't it just sitting right there? Cookie must have eaten it. No, it wasn't me. It was... It was... The Cake Chomper! Who now? The Cake Chomper? <laughs> wow, never heard of him before. What did it look like, Cookie? Well, uh, well, he had a cape, a spotted one, and a strange metal hat. Oh. Uh, and it was wearing purple mittens. <laughs> and it was hooting like an owl. <laughs> it ate the cake and then ran off somewhere. There's a cake chomper hiding in the house somewhere, and there isn't a moment to lose. We have to track him down right away. Let's go! Uh, uh, <laughs> the whole family started searching for the mysterious cake chomper. It's not behind the sofa, either. Oh, what could the spoon be doing here? Uh, uh, the cake chomper must have accidentally dropped it. I'll look for it over here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Everybody, the cake chomper was just here, and I think it ran into Mommy's room. Cake chomper, are you here? <laughs> Look here! I found footprints, see? Looks like the cake chomper must have walked through some chalk. It would seem he has two left feet, which is weird. The chomper also transported himself into Mommy's room without leaving any more footprints. Cake chompers are even more mysterious than they are hungry. Well, I'm not going to believe it exists until I see it. Okay. Oh, it looks like the cake chomper is branching out from cake to jam. Aha! Oh, oh, oh. uh -huh. Now we know who the cake chomper is. Cookie, why didn't you just admit you ate the cake yourself? I didn't want everybody to be angry with me. I'm sorry. We're not mad at you, Cookie. Was the jam really tasty? <laughs> yeah, it was. And was the cake really yummy? It was so yummy. I have a really great idea. Cookie should just make another cake, and we can help him. That is a great idea, and I'll teach you how. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Would each of you kittens like a slice or two? Yes, please. But let's keep an extra slice on the side. Yeah, just in case good old cake chopper pops in for tea. <laughs> <laughs> so on this day, Cookie learned that it's always better to tell the truth and to cook up a solution to make up for it. Cookie takes a break. One day, Daddy made an exciting announcement. My kittens, today we're visiting an aquarium. We'll see all kinds of fish and octopuses. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! But first, you need to pick your train track up off of the floor. In case it causes a toy train kitten collision. <laughs> we'll clean up now. 
sounds wonderful. And Daddy will buy our aquarium tickets online. We built such a gigantic train track that it'll take us forever to put it away. Well, we'd better get started then. Tidying up wasn't Cookie's favorite thing to do. Controller in the box, it's too heavy for me. Uh, uh, uh. Cookie, huh? did you drop that heavy train switch on your paw? Uh, yes, ow, yes, dropped it right on my paw. Oh, it hurts so much. I guess I can't help tidy up. Right, when you injure your paw, you really should go lie down. However, just lying there and waiting was pretty boring. Cookie! Ouchie! Get off your paw or it'll never oh. get better. But I'm thirsty. I'll get you something to drink. And if you need something else, just tell us and we'll help you. Cookie started to rather like that having a sore paw ah. made everyone help him out. He started calling pudding and candy for every little thing. I'd love to have an apple. Thought I'd love a pair more. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. Then Puss in Boots asked the princess. How are you, Cookie? Are you feeling any better? No, nope, my paw's still hurting. Shouldn't we tell Mommy? We shouldn't bother Mommy about one little sore paw. What if she sends me off to the hospital? <laughs> Maybe we should put some ice on your paw. Please don't do that. I'd probably catch a cold from all the ice. <laughs> if we had a time machine, we could use it to return to earlier. Mm. And keep Cookie mm. from hurting his oh. paw. There's no such thing as a time machine. I'm sure my paw will get better on its own, but not yet. Hey, I think some cartoons would really help. Look, kittens, I just printed out our tickets to the aquarium. Ah! Oh. Uh. Daddy! Ah, goodness, looks like dear old Daddy just had a major train collision. The bruise isn't too bad, but Daddy cannot drive anywhere today. Now, kittens, why didn't you clean up like we asked you to? We were cleaning, but Cookie dropped the control box right on his paw. Then he started caring for Cookie instead. Um, to be honest, the box didn't really fall on my paw. Um, and my paw didn't really hurt at all. But why did you tell us that it was hurting? Well, at first it was because I really didn't want to help clean up. But then I really liked it that you were taking such good care of me. It's your fault we can't go to the aquarium today because Daddy's hurt his leg on the train set. <laughs> I'm really, really sorry. We're still going to go. I can drive us all there. And Cookie won't be doing anything like that again, will you, Cookie? I won't. Never again. I promise. I'm sorry, Daddy. I know what to do. Before we leave, we should clean up the rest of the railroad tracks so no one else gets injured. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Cookie was a good kitten, to tell the truth. And he realized it's best to help out and not just think about yourself. Hide and seek, kitties. One day, the kittens decided to have a game of hide and seek. We can hide anywhere in the house except for the basement, all right? Deal, let's do it. Who's the first seeker? Well, I don't want to be it. Me either. Uh, whew. That was a hard day. <sighs> hey, play hide and seek with us, Daddy. Do play with us, Daddy. Pretty please with hugs, Daddy. Uh, but oh, sure, I'll play. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. One, two, three, four, five. Okay then, ready or not, here Daddy comes, kittens. Who do we have under here? <laughs> <laughs> I found candy. <laughs> Thank you.
And this is pudding. <laughs> Looky, it's cookie. Yay! Let's play again. Oh. <laughs> Counting one, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here I come. Counting one, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> Grandma, hello there. Oh, my daddy's too tired to be it again. Can we swap for a little while? How about you three seek and I'll hide? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here we come. Let's go and look behind the couch. I bet he's hiding there. Nope. Maybe he's hiding in the wardrobe. <laughs> he's not here either. She's right, he's not here. The kittens looked in every room, but they couldn't find Daddy. Well, maybe Daddy got hungry and then hid in the refrigerator. <laughs> but Daddy would freeze if you were in a fridge oh. for so long. Oh. Maybe he's in the washing machine. <gasps> Mommy's about to do laundry. Huh? <laughs> Mommy, don't turn it on. <laughs> Daddy might be hiding in there. There's no need to worry, kittens. I assure you it was completely empty when I put the laundry into it. Now what? Daddy wasn't in there either. We were playing hide and seek, but we can't find Daddy at all. Hmm. Well, maybe he's in the basement. We agreed before we started we wouldn't hide in the basement. But we forgot to tell Daddy that rule when he joined in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Guess I was having a little snooze. Poor dear. You must be exhausted after your long work day. Oh, the three of us never really thought about that. That's right. We bugged him to play with us the moment he got home. I have a really good idea. We need to let Daddy rest for a little while and only ask him to play after that. Daddy, why don't you lay on the couch and rest for a while? <laughs> I've already had a nice snooze, and now I'm ready to play hide and seek. Awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! Mommy's gonna be it! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, ready or not, here comes Mommy! The kittens had the most fun hiding and seeking when everyone in the family was rested and in the mood to play. Kitty Fun Fair. One day, an exciting traveling fun fair came to town. We're headed to a real life fun fair. Oh boy, this is going to be the best day ever. We should try every single ride there. It's a shame that the fair is only here for one day. Kittens, don't worry. We'll all have a really wonderful time. Right. We'll take pictures after every ride so we'll never forget the fun times. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! Cookie wanted to ride the roller coaster with the really big loops. Hmm, I'm sorry, little fella, but this ride isn't suitable for kittens. You have to be taller than this to ride it. Well, what if I crawled up on Pudding's shoulders so that huh? we'd look as tall as a grown-up? Well, you are taller, but you still look too young. Hmm? <laughs> We can make mustaches and beards out of cotton candy so everyone thinks that we're grandpas! It's not about how old you are, but how tall. If you're too short, the seatbelt won't hold you in. Whoa! 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 That is very not safe. 
Let's go to the fun house with the crazy mirrors that makes us look wobbly. That'll cheer us up. <laughs> 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 Happy faces for the picture album. I didn't huh? find that very fun at all. Huh? Well, first my tail looked enormous, then it was too little, then I looked all wonky and crooked. <laughs> yeah, fun house. There's more attractions over there. Look, we must ride the adorable ducks. No way. Let's try that haunted house there. Is it really scary in there? No way. It's the coolest. Yeah? Okay, then. Well, then I'm going to ride the ducks. All right, have fun, kittens. Daddy and I will wait here. We'll take a nice photo of your smiling faces when you're back. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, that spider's just made of plastic. <laughs> and that snake's just made of rubber. <laughs> And now for the picture! Well, we don't seem to have any happy pictures so far. I was very scared. I wanted the ducks to go fast. Nothing was real on that ride. There are more attractions over there, darlings. <laughs> oh no, my phone battery ran out. Attention guests, the huh? traveling fun fair will be closing huh? soon. Huh. And we still haven't got a photo where everyone is happy. And the fun fair is moving on tomorrow. <laughs> I have a really good idea. We just need to find a ride that everybody will like, even if we can't take a photo. Yeah. The kittens and their parents decided to ride the Ferris wheel. Wow, we're really high. It's sort of scary, but it's really cool as well. And it's really beautiful. Ha-ha, oh. <laughs> Cookie looks like someone's grandfather. At least now you can get on the rides that are just for grown-ups. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like we'll get our picture after all. Everyone, now we have a happy picture for the Fun Fair album. And we are all smiling in it. Yeah, but Daddy blinked, though. Oh, no, I've ruined the whole thing. I think we have time for one more ride, and we'll get another chance at the picture. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> the Ferris wheel turned out to be the kitty cat family's favorite ride and helped make the trip to the fair a really special happy being together memory for them all. The Kettle Quest. One day, the kittens and Mommy and Daddy were getting ready for tea. Thank you for your help, dear kittens. Everything's ready. I just need to boil some water. Goodness! I think our electric kettle is broken. Uh, well, can't say I'm surprised. Not after how long it's been serving us. Oh, no. We won't ever have yummy lemony tea again. It's nothing to worry about, kittens. We'll zip to the store this instant and pick up a nice, shiny new kettle. We'll have a beautiful new kettle. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! At the store, Daddy and the kittens see that they sell way more than just kettles. We should buy some. But you already have markers, Cookie. Yeah, but not these colors. All right, let's buy them. Oh, hammers. I just remembered I need a new hammer. Hey, look at those cool swim fins. Ah! <laughs> oh, those are pretty balloons. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy and the kittens got so carried away shopping that they didn't notice the time. Goodness, we've been here over an hour. Mommy has got to be waiting for us. Come along, let's pay for everything and head home. <laughs> We're oh. back, 
<laughs> yeah, it appears you had quite a fun shopping trip. You betcha. We bought so many things that we need. New markers. I didn't have all these cool colors. But, Cookie, you already have those colors. Don't you remember? You drew this picture with them. Oh, yeah. You're right. I guess I forgot about them. Look, Mommy, we also bought a rubber ducky. I'll go put it in the bathtub. <laughs> but we've already got lots of rubber ducks. What other things did you buy, my darlings? Uh... You bought holiday tree ornaments in the middle of summer? The snowflakes on them are really beautiful. Look, we also got some snow in a can. What's in that box? That is a sea monster costume, dear. Uh, Where are those fancy parties you like? Yes, I'd prefer something fancier, like a mermaid costume. Certainly not a sea monster one. Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> A swimming pool filter. Oh, that's right. We don't have a swimming pool. Oh, it's, uh, for, um, well, yeah, that was a silly thing to buy. But wait till you see our nice new hammer because I lost my old one. Um, no, you didn't. I saw it in the cellar. You did? <laughs> Hooray, Mommy found my old one. What are we going to do with all this stuff that we bought, Daddy? I think we should put them down in the cellar for safekeeping. Then there wouldn't be any room left down there. <laughs> Help! I have a really good idea. We should return everything to the store. Wonderful idea, Candy. Uh, we'll do it right after we've eaten something. My poor tummy's all rumbly and empty. Well, then it's a good thing that it happens to be tea time. Uh, there might be one small problem. We forgot to buy a kettle. Oh, no. <laughs> No need to worry, my darlings. We have an old metal kettle in the kitchen somewhere. I can use it to heat the water like they did in the old days on the stove. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The family had their tea after all, and the kittens realized that it's not always good to buy everything you want. It's better to buy the things that you really need. Exercising kitties. The kittens were spending the weekend with their grandma. Wake up, my darling kittens. Time to greet a lovely new day. We want to stay in bed a little longer. Yeah, I haven't got the energy to get out of bed. Come on, kittens. Join me for my morning exercise. You all will feel super energized and strong in no time at all. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Exercise. Only grandmas and grandpas need to exercise. We're just little kittens. Exercise is really great for cats of all ages. Stretching helps you feel strong and energetic. I'm really strong already. Oh. Just check this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're some athlete. If you don't want to exercise, it's fine. But you absolutely must have porridge for breakfast, little ones. It will give you energy for the entire day. That means if we just eat porridge, we'll be really strong. Yeah, and we can do it without morning exercise. So, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The kittens had their breakfast and went to play outside. I'll bring it back here. I just can't run anymore. I'll get it down. How are we supposed to get it down from up there? Uh, we could use a stick to knock it down. But what if instead you break it? We can put springs on our feet and jump up and grab it that way. What if you get stuck in a tree as well? Then we'll have to get you out of the tree too. Hey, maybe we should call Dart's father. He'll hurry here in his fire truck and get the helicopter down. Hey! Up there! We can't distract firefighters from more important things. You know, fires and stuff. I suppose we'll just have to climb the tree ourselves to rescue the helicopter. Uh. 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 
But the kittens weren't strong enough to climb the tree. We're never going to be able to get our helicopter down. <laughs> ah, the old helicopter in the tree problem. Let's get it back then. Oh, wow! Huh? Ha! Grandma, that was amazing! You look like some kind of super cat or something! There's nothing super about it. It's all thanks to my exercises. I'd like to be as strong as Granny, too. Yeah, so do I. I have a really good idea. Daddy and Mommy came to visit Grandma and the kittens. Well, Pudding, seems like you're a kitten superhero. It's only been one day and your grandma has already turned our kittens into athletes. Hello, kittens. And hello to you. It's all thanks to Granny's exercises. Actually, I feel like I could do with a little exercise. I'm pretty stiff after driving all of that way. In that case, why don't we... Do a few exercises all together. So, so awesome. awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! By the way, that me wow, me wow wave of yours is great exercise. So now the kitty cats always do their morning stretches, and their wave is a megatastic way to exercise their arms, too. The Kitty Train. One day, Mommy and Daddy took the kitty cats and their friends to the park for a ride on the children's pretend steam train. I'm driving, called it! And Pudding can be the coal shoveler, and Candy can be the conductor, then everybody else can be passengers! Let's, Let's go! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! You kids have a great trip! We'll be here waiting for you! Uh, maybe we have time to get a nice box of popcorn. Shovel in more coal so we can go faster. At first, Pudding had fun shoveling toy coal into a toy furnace and making believe it was the real thing. May I have your ticket, please? <laughs> Shoveling coal is making me tired. And I'm bored with just checking everyone's tickets. Okay, why don't you be the coal shoveler and you be the conductor? Uh, can I have a look at your tickets, I guess? What? Again? Cookie, I want to have a turn driving the train. What? I can't hear you! Oh, yeah? Now, I'm the driver and you're the shoveler. Wait, I want to be the driver now. I've already been the conductor and the coal shoveler. Give that hat back right now! Pudding, give me that hat! I'm the driver! No, me! Give me the hat! Well, so whoever has the hat is the driver? <sighs> I dare you to try and take it! Took my hat. Fresh, yummy popcorn. <laughs> oh, no. Now we don't have a driver at all. Speaking of the driver, guys, who is driving the train now? The train was approaching the station, but it was going too fast. Could we maybe ask Daddy to stop the train for us? <sighs> but it's going so fast that Daddy couldn't catch it. Getting there, getting there, I'm gonna do it! Or, I'm too slow. <laughs> what we need to do to stop the train is to use a parachute. We don't have a parachute, though. Any other ideas? 
it's too bad a train isn't like a bike, because on my bike, I just press the brakes and then it stops, you know? Yeah, the brake lever! You must have been going very quickly to have your driver's hat blown off by the wind. Pudding? Hey, here you go. It's your turn to be the driver now. Hey, what about us? I want to have a turn being driver. And me. I have a really good idea. We can all take turns being the driver, all right? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Choo choo choo! choo. Oh, it's great to drive the choo choo up the tracks along the way. In our awesome, cool, true blue choo choo train, what a perfect day! Choo choo choo! Choo choo! Choo choo choo! really going, puffin' smoke into the air. When they hear the whistle blowing, then they'll know that we are there. Choo-choo-choo! Toot-toot! Choo-choo-choo! This time around, everyone had a turn driving the train. And Cookie had a great time just being a passenger and enjoying the wonderful view. Piano practice. Candy said she wanted to learn to play the piano. <laughs> Great! Thanks! Now we can learn to play all sorts of tunes. You could play us lullabies at bedtime. <laughs> or you could play something really fun for our games. <laughs> but first, Candy has to learn to play. Cupcake's mom will be giving her lessons. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! All right, let's start with some scales. Now you give it a try. All right, now try the left paw. Wonderful! Now let's just repeat that from the top. Cookie and Pudding thought that Candy's lessons were very boring. Instead, they went to watch their favorite pirate show on TV. Hey! <laughs> Candy's lesson was one hour long. She needs to practice playing her scales every single day. <laughs> See you later. See you later. See you later. The next morning, the kittens decided to play pirates in the yard. Arr! <laughs> <laughs> Yo ho! Candy, remember you need to practice your piano scales for half an hour. <laughs> Candy, I don't hear you practicing. Okay, I'll start now. <laughs> Arr, our pirate ship is setting sail toward the treasure island. <laughs> Arr, oh no, we've been attacked by a sea monster. Arr, Arr <laughs> don't let it gobble up our ship. <laughs> Arr, Arr. I'm missing the fun because I have to practice those silly scales. Hmm, I think you can help me. Can help me, can help me. Arr, arr. Sea dogs! All hands on deck! But what about your practice? Oh, that! I'm all done! Good morning! Good morning! I just stopped by to see how Candy was getting on. Well, she's been practicing for quite a while. Oh! Huh? Hey! Candy, if you don't want to learn the piano, just say so. I want to play, I do. But what's the point in playing scales? But you must play scales to train your paws. Once you've practiced enough, you can play all sorts of tunes. Just listen to this. Hey, that's 
songs from our favorite show. I would love to play that. Looks like it's still too hard for you to play. Well, I know how to fix that. I must practice my scales to train my paws to play. After a few more lessons, Candy gathered everyone in the kitty cat's room. Oh, well done! Bravo! You did it! That was really great, Candy. Practicing scales really works. Practicing scales really works. <laughs> so <laughs> awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The chance to learn a favorite tune was Candy's inspiration to play the piano and bring joy to everyone around her. A muddy good time. Cookie, Candy, and Pudding were so happy to discover that the snow had finally melted. We've been waiting for this. And it's finally here. You mean the sunshine? Nah, the new seesaw's here. So, so awesome. awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Dibs on first try, yeah! <laughs> no! Watch out, Cookie. The new seesaw was in the middle of a big puddle of sticky, icky mud. Just think how muddy and gross we'll get if we try to walk across that. If Daddy were here, we'd be just fine. He'd pick up the three of us and carry us over there. But Pudding, Daddy can't help us. He's at work now. Oh. Huh? Hello? Oh, that's right. I'm at work at the factory. Hey, let's use stilts to walk across the mud. <laughs> Better suggestions, Cookie? Well, we could also sail across the mud on something. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> What'll we do? Hey, I know how we can get across. It isn't deep. Take a look, boys. Some rubber boots are all we need to get across it. Now the kitty cats had smiles on their faces and rubber boots on their feet. But Cupcake and Smudge wanted to get to the new seesaw, too. Come on, Cupcake! Watch out, Smudge! I won't look as beautiful if I'm covered in mud. <gasps> Meow! Yucky mud. Candy, would you like to try it first? Yeah, thanks, Cupcake! Oh, this is gonna be so much fun! Just please make sure you don't splash mud on my boots. <laughs> 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 oh no! There's mud everywhere! It even got on smudge all the way over there! <laughs> don't laugh! Look at my dress! And my shirt! <laughs> hey, Pudding, don't cry! I'll clean it off with puddle water! Unfortunately, adding water just made more mud. Now I'm even dirtier! <laughs> Well, since we're already completely dirty, I say that it's mud angel time, guys! <laughs> Cookie, I'm sorry, but that is just gross. Guys, Mom is gonna be so upset that we got our clothes this dirty. It's not our fault that there's mud. Well, maybe we should wait for the mud to dry before we play outside. How long is that going to take? Uh, I think it should be dried out by summer. Oh, wow. Looks like you had a really good time. We're really sorry that we got all covered in mud. But don't worry. We've decided to stop going outside. At least not until summertime. You're not going outside until summer? <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, Mommy. You're just as muddy as us. True. But a little mud never hurt anyone. But isn't your dress ruined now? Not at all. Just a little dirty. But the washing machine will clean it all right up. Hooray! Let's hear it for the wonderful washing machine! <laughs> yes, clothes can be washed, but getting them dirty on purpose isn't great. You could end up sick that way. So we don't have to wait inside till the mud dries? Of course not. Going outside is good for you, even when there's mud. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! That's when Daddy came home. At least they thought it was Daddy under all that mud. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> the car got stuck in the mud, so I had to get out and push. 
All this mud makes the kitty cats look more like piggy cats. <laughs> <laughs> The washing machine cleaned their muddy clothes right up. <laughs> then they headed back outside for more family fun. And no one minded getting a little bit grubby. Hockey. One day, the kitty cats decided to play ice hockey. So, we'll have Dart be the goalie, and I'm going to be center. I'll be a defender cat. And I'll probably only be in the way. <gasps> Why would you say that, dear? I'm not good at playing team sports. Remember when we played soccer? Ah! <laughs> hey, Pudding, catch! <laughs> wow, thank you! Huh? <laughs> and remember when I tried volleyball? <laughs> uh, 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 we need to play as well. Pudding, you have to pass the ball to one of us. I'm perfectly sure that this time Pudding will play the game very well. I'll come with you and cheer really loud like a cheerleader. <gasps> so, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Sports. It's better for everyone if I don't even try to play. My darling kitten, don't be so sad. <laughs> Come on, remember you're a really great chess player, just like your mom. We are a two-cat chess team. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy. Hey! I think from now on, I should only play sports I feel confident at. <laughs> Oh, wow, those are some amazing reflexes. You'd be a perfect goalie, Pudding. I have a really good idea. Pudding took the place of goalie, and Dart was happy, as he wanted to chase the puck anyway. Ah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Thanks, guys. I feel really confident as the goalie, too. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Everyone has a place on a team. You just have to find the spot that feels right for you. Oh. 